What is going on beautiful people? I just wanted to shoot this video and talk a little bit about myself, why I started my company and Instagram about 2.5 years ago and um, what's the plans for in the future. But um, it's mainly really going to be about myself and uh, for the vast majority of my life I've been struggling with obesity and lack of confidence that has seriously reduced my relationships and there has been plenty of struggles that I had to experience in my life simply because I wasn't happy with myself, I wasn't happy with my weight, I was kind of struggling to fit in and uh, I was especially struggling with understanding and expressing myself because I'm a very introverted person and it took a long time before I really understood myself and uh, how I recharge and uh, how I interact with my environment. So one thing that uh, I did early on which wasn't necessarily healthy but it was simply that I isolated myself playing video games because um, that obviously allowed me to recharge and it was kind of an escape from the reality that I had created for myself so I started playing lots of video games I overindulged in fast foods and uh, like I said my weight has been a huge problem for the vast majority of my life I was 243 pounds at my heaviest and I'm not a very tall guy so that was obviously extremely bad and I managed to lose about w almost 100 pounds since then and um, that just goes to show us what we're capable of and uh, how much potential we actually have inside of us so what really got me started on that journey was that I essentially hit rock bottom so for years I had isolated myself in my room being addicted to Porn, video games, Netflix, basically it's that instant gratification junkie that didn't really find much enjoyment out of life sadly. So, but there was always this feeling inside of me. I had this intuition just screaming at me from time to time that I was meant to do so, so much more with my life, that I had so much potential inside of me. and. I didn't really listen to that voice, but after multiple years I couldn't ignore it anymore and I was so miserable and depressed from the way that I was living that I knew that I had to make a change. So I began by taking some baby steps, by taking walks and cutting out soda from my diet and that turned out to be extremely helpful. So about six or eight months of doing that, taking walks a couple of times, I think it was three to four times per week and uh, just getting rid of the candy and soda out of my diet. I lost about 45 kilos so I was experiencing a new quality of life. I started feeling happier and when I was outside in nature I just started to experience this new reality. It, I was actually beginning to feel happy and I started getting enjoyment and um, that combined with my body getting lighter, life just started to come in, becoming slightly <laughs> even enjoyable and that's a huge upgrade obviously because I didn't f feel much enjoyment when I was trapped in the video games. But uh, that didn't work forever because uh, I basically did that for a pretty long time but then I ran into my first weight loss plateau so what I've been doing was no longer putting me in, in a calorie deficit. I didn't realize it back then but that's what happened so I was trying to look into new ways that I could uh, 
get the ball rolling again essentially and losing weight because obviously I was hooked on this new lifestyle, I was starting feeling better and I wanted to keep pushing that so I was pretty lucky because after I started searching it didn't take me very long because one of my coworkers was a bodybuilding enthusiast and he wasn't a coach but he had some very solid knowledge about training and nutrition so he put me on a meal plan and a training plan and I just followed that rigorously for multiple months and uh, the results were amazing so as I was eating this meal plan and going to the gym I started losing weight again and I even replaced some of the fat with muscle so that gave me a huge amount of confidence and uh, it was just so satisfying because I was actually able to look myself in the mirror and feel proud of myself and I can't remember how long ago that actually was if ever so that was extremely powerful and uh, I wouldn't recommend anyone going on a meal plan because I was basically eating chicken, rice, minced meat, rice some oatmeal and a couple of protein shakes per day so it produced results but it wasn't very sustainable or enjoyable because that's what I did for literally every single day and I had one cheat meal per week so I was actually close to developing an eating disorder and the thing about cheat meals is that they promote a really unhealthy relationship with food because they label foods as good or bad and it implies that you're doing something bad which there's nothing wrong or something bad with having a pizza or a hamburger just as as long as the majority of your foods are quality nutrition and bring you closer towards your goals I think it's actually rather healthy to have some indulges every now and then or having some birthday cake on a relative's party wherever that might be so meal plan is not a good way to go but yeah I'm still very grateful for the experience and uh, actually having that as a toolkit that brought me closer towards my goals because it has helped me find what's actually working for me what's sustainable for me and that's radically different to a meal plan but <laughs> that's for another video so a few months after that I got down to a healthy weight where I was happy with myself. I didn't have a lot of excess fat anymore and it felt so good because now I was down to a healthy weight, I had some muscle on my body so I started getting confidence and um, what was so beautiful about that confidence was that it started spreading to all aspects of my life. So my relationship started getting better, I started performing better at work, my my sleep was improving throughout this process, so that just goes to show the power of losing weight and increasing your confidence, so what was so empowering about this was that I realized that I wanted to help other people, so that's mainly why I started this Instagram and why I started my company at the same time as I started the Instagram was simply that I realized that I wanted to help others and I read this book that's called Crushing It by Gary Vee and the entire book is the, goes through of example that people that are not really satisfied with their life but they find some side hustle or business that they love and they go all in on that and for some people it takes months for some people it takes years but Ultimately, most of them find a lot of happiness and meaning within their life. Some also experience profound amount of success, but that's obviously nice. But the main reason why I'm doing this is actually enabling and helping people because I know what it's like being in the dark and I know what it's like being in the light that I'm right now and just how drastically my life has shifted in the last five years so 
my mission is just to enable every single one of you to experience similar tr transformations. And I know for some of you that's going to be losing weight, for some of you that's going to be gaining muscle, for some of you that's going to take the leap into start creating the business of your dreams. It doesn't really matter what it is, I just want to inspire you and realize that you have a limited potential. So always remember that and go make me proud. Thanks for listening.